what just happened? Um, why do you take away from a game like that? Yeah, Doe, um, it takes a little while to, to, to process uh, when you play games like that. That was not your run-of-the-mill, you know, run-of-the-mill um, effort or game or and no matter which way you want to talk about there's a lot to talk about and um some of it was uh not so good some of it was exceptional um i think the general um you know emotion swings were i mean they were big and there were there were several of them um our guys responded to everything that happened in that game that was uh can you know challenging and difficult and all those things um we ran into a lot of uh, roadblocks and and just we just kept finding ways around them um you know ultimately uh you know didn't we did not win that ball game and you know you're only going to get so up about an effort like that but our guys fought our guys continued to give it you know every possible you know dug down and grabbed everything they had and and brought it out and we you know, we kept kept playing, you know, at no point, you know, down 10 to whatever it was. I don't even know, 10 to 1 or whatever it was. Um, we never stopped uh, playing the game and doing everything that we could to win the ball game. And uh, there was a game where we also knew we were a little handicapped um, on the pitching side with probably four guys that were just unavailable to pitch today after this long run of games. Um, we were going to ride uh, Jay and Bo and, and Juan uh, a lot in these games. We had a couple guys that were uh, somewhat available if we needed them. Um, but other than that, these guys were going to do most of the, uh, the pitching. Uh, our position players just up and down the order just showed up. And, and you know, in, in a situation where it's very easy to wilt and it's very easy to just go, you know, this is a tough day and just go from there. Um, you see that a lot. You know, everywhere you look in, in the game that happens, it didn't happen here today. Our guys kept playing hard. Hey, Rocco, for, uh, for Jay and, and maybe even for some of your hitters against their pitchers, how much do you think kind of seeing the same team over and over again might come into play in a game like this? Betsy, I don't know. I honestly, you know, we, this is, a, it's a good discussion topic because we, you know, this is what's playing out in front of our eyes. Um, we've played this team a lot lately, like probably um, too much, you know, in that span of time in a major league baseball season. Um, you know, that being said, um, you know, you, you still, you, you just have to go out there and execute. You have to go out there and look for a good pitch to hit. Um, you know, it just so happens that this game ended up uh, just a very wild affair and, and high scoring and all that. But I don't know if it has direct, directly anything to do with um, us playing these guys a lot. I, I think, you know, we very easily could have gone out there and given up two and, and you know, gotten out of here uh, with a win. We, you know, that that's not the way it played out. I mean, we just, you know, fought each other for you know, several hours right there back and forth and, uh, and all that. But um, it, it, just two teams, you know, yeah, we played each other a lot, but two teams that just, you know, kept playing and kind of fought it out in the, in the heat out there today. What do you or Wes say to J.A. after a start like that? Well, I think a lot of what we talk to our pitchers about depends on the pitcher himself, who he is as a person, where he's at in his career. Um, you know, Wes has a lot that he dives into with our guys, um, based on what they do in their, in their start. It was, it was a tough start. A lot of what, uh, Jay tried to do today, um, you know, it didn't, it didn't work. It wasn't going the way he wanted it to. Um, uh, Jay's, uh, he's a reasonably no nonsense guy. He's experienced a lot in this game. He's had tons of success. He knows what it feels like on both sides of this thing. So nothing that he's experiencing, um, is brand new to him, but I think that um, you know when you do talk to a guy like that, you go into it knowing that he's seen some things. Uh, but it doesn't mean he doesn't want to work and he doesn't want to find uh, what he needs to do, um, figure out what he needs to do next. And and Jay will work. Jay will spend the time between starts uh, to figure this thing out. I know he will. I know he does. Um, and I, I believe in him as a as a guy and as a, you know, a character in our, our clubhouse. He, he has tremendous character, and I think he's built to deal with, with challenging circumstances like today.